Welcome back to another episode of Feathers in a Fence. I am Frankie. Today's video, the topic of the video is about dual purpose versus hybrid. Now, when I first started getting chickens, I didn't know what in the world people were talking about. Do you want a chicken that is dual purpose or do you want a chicken that is a hybrid? Now, let me break it down for you guys out there in layman terms. Okay, dual purpose is this big stud right here. Smile for the camera, big stud. This stud is considered a dual purpose breed of chicken. Now, this red star right here, which is Beverly, she is considered a hybrid. Now, let me tell you the difference. Okay, again, I'm gonna break this down as best as I know how. And again, guys, this is the Easter snap going on in Southeast Georgia. So you're gonna have to bear with us for the wind. All right, Miss Stud, you better keep it together. Okay, um, hybrid versus dual purpose. The best way I can explain this in layman terms, the best way that I could understand it is, if you hybrid is a chicken that took two separate breeds of chicken to make that one chicken. In other words, for Beverly right here, it took a Leghorn, Bard Rock, Plymouth Rock, um, probably Rhode Island Red, that there was all mixtures of those chickens to make this one chicken. And the hybrids are, this particular one is called a set slink. Yeah, it can get really difficult with this. Okay, the set slink really means is in the factory. I'm sorry, factory. In the hatchery, in the hatchery, when these chicks are born, set slink means that you can tell what the chicken looks like from the colors that it has. It's either a yellow or more of a brown colored tint chick. That's why they're called hybrid as well as sex link. And Becky Beverly here is a sex link. Again, at birth, they could tell in the hatchery what, whether she was a cockerel or whether she was a pullet. Now, again, it takes two different breeds to make this one chicken. Now, on the other hand, Big Stud here, who was a lavender orpington, if you get, he was made with two particular breeds of chicken at one time to develop this breed. Now, this is where it can get a little bit, uh, it can get a little bit, as I call it, um, I like to call it, it can get a little bit difficult, a little bit hard to understand. Okay, if I take a male lavender orpington and put it with a hen lavender orpington, if I take a rooster, Lavender Orpington and a hen Lavender Orpington, they are going to make a Lavender Orpington baby. That is the breed that this is, which is called a dual purpose heritage breed. Any two parents of a heritage breed can make that particular offspring. Now, let's say I take Beverly here, who is a hen, and I take a rooster that is a also a red star, and they make a baby when that offspring develop it will not look like either it could not either look like either parent it could be black it could come out white it could come out even gray so there again the offsprings are not true for hybrid and the offsprings for dual purposes heritage breed those are true offsprings so once again in layman terms if i put becky Beverly, I keep saying Becky, Beverly here with another red star rooster, they will not produce a, another red star chicken. That is called a hybrid chicken, a set slate chicken. They will not produce true offspring. If I take Big Stud here and I put him with another, which I do have another Lavender, lavender Operton hen in there, I've actually had plenty of these type chickens, but I sold a lot of them. But um, they used to be more of the rare breeds. Now they're getting more commonly in backyards. Uh, you definitely can get the uh, Buff Orbiton that is typically at your feed store. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty popular. But again, those type chickens are a heritage breed. If you have a male and female, they'll produce a true offspring. And if it says hybrid, or if it's a set slate chicken, consider like a red star, a comet, um, a cinnamon queen, leg horns is also in that. If you get those and you put them with a pair, with a pairing partner, they will not produce that offspring. So I hope this this was a little inform informative to you guys out there. 
Um, I would like for you to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because again, I'm really trying to build this channel. I'm really trying to get the algorithms up. So as always, as always, guys, good things are coming your way. Thanks. Bye-bye.